Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about A Billionaire Stripper, written by Posey Park. This book is a BWWM book. This is my first time ever reading anything from Posey Park, and so far I'm a huge fan. The main characters of this book are Hayden and Lydia. Hayden is celebrating his 25th birthday, and his best friend slash cousin convinced him to go to a strip club for the party. He already had set up a special girl to dance with Hayden for his birthday. It turned out that this girl, the girl that they set up was Lydia. Lydia is a 22-year-old college student um, that strips for a living. Uh, so she strips for a living not because she wants to pay for school or because she wants to um, just be a stripper. She stripped because her father is very sick and he lost his job and she has to cover his medical benefits. So she ended up becoming a high-priced stripper and um that helped pay for her father's um her father's medication and um his medical bills that's over two hundred thousand dollars and she's a virgin so it turned out that the minute they both saw each other they both like had this instant connection and Hayden could not get her out of his mind he just wanted to get to know her better find out how more as much as he can about her he um end up Basically, like a typical billionaire, oh, I could take care of you, you could stop stripping, all that kind of stuff. But most women don't want that. Well, I, I shouldn't say most women, a handful of women don't want that because they're very independent and they like to survive on their own and like to depend on themselves because they don't want to be controlled. And this was the same case for Lydia. She's like, no, I am not your responsibility, I am not your property, so no, we cannot um, have a relationship together. He kept on pursuing her. He's like, okay, I just need you to go on one date with me. Once you do the one date, we'll see where it goes. But he originally, his whole plan was, no, I just need a beginning with you and I'll finish out the rest. I thought this book was very, um, very good from beginning to end. It was very, not intense, but upfront. Like there was no wishy-washy feeling. There was no going back and, back and forth about, Oh, should I go? Should I not go? There was no indecisive. Everything that happened in the book happened from beginning to end. Hayden tells her how he felt. She told him how she felt. And it was the, oh, one minute, let's go. One minute, let's not go. No. She straight up tell him, I can't be with you. And I don't want to be with you because of these reasons. And he said, okay, I understand you have your reasons. However, I'm willing to work with you and take care of you at the same time but she didn't want to hear that in the middle of the book they still getting to know each other and then she finally admit to go on a date with him and go from there so while she's in school she has a few admirers she has a few admirers at the club and she has few admirers at school Hayden being as protected as he is basically was always there to protect her he was always there to make sure that no one took advantage of her no one tried to molest her while she was dancing or get too handsy with her in school he found out that she had a secret admirer actually she told him about the secret admirer the guy and she told him let him down up front saying that I don't want to be with you we could be friends and that's it but we already know guys like when they see something they want they go after it and Hayden already knew this. Him, he is being a billionaire. He had all the connections he could, he needed to make sure that she was well protected between his, um, his cousin and his bodyguard. At the same time, he's a CEO of a, um, is a technology company. No, he's a CEO of an investment firm that's in Atlanta. And his father, um, basically turned it over the company over to him, and he controls it with his sister. He was like adamant of getting her to go, um, getting Lydia to be with him. But Lydia was like, no, the first thing your family's going to be like, oh, you go to school? Yeah, what do you do for a living? Strip. He said, I don't care what my family think or say. That's not them. I'm the one that you're dating. I understand his concept and why he said that, but we know the reality of rich people or rich kids to tell you the truth. Like, if mommy and daddy say no, it's no. So... I understand why she had a difficult time accepting that or even believing it because I wouldn't believe it either. Nope, I wouldn't believe it. Anyway, she got over the hurdle and she took it for what it is, but she was always waiting for the other shoe to fall off. 
And it did when she met his sister for the first time. She was just a raving biatch. Let me tell you, that girl was a hot mess. And, and they, they kept on going on. Like, he had protected her from a few stalkers, a few pedophiles. It was a lot going on in the book. But it was up front. It was intense. It was raw. It was very, very interesting. Let me tell you that. And also, this book is a is high in the erotica field. So if you're not into erotica... Um, please don't read this book because it's very high intense in it and it's all over the book from the beginning to end. It, it, there's no escaping it. But overall, Posey Park did a phenomenal job with this book. It's so much going on in this book. I think you guys will really love it. If you're into erotica, if you're into um, true love and um, billionaire meets virgin kind of thing. But overall, I didn't see the sex in it i saw the character and the caring i saw the the chemistry brewing between the characters i really think it was a great book you guys check it out it's called a billionaire stripper written by posey parks bye guys